and welcome to Love Eastland, a new po- podcast in association with Reykjavik Grapevine. Um, every episode, I'm going to be joined by some of the funniest and most attractive minds in Iceland, and we will be going on a fantasy date. And my first guest, my first, my first date, mm. is my very good friend, my BFF. Well, my wannabe BFF. Acquaintance. Acquaintance. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm basically obsessed with her. (laughs) I'm obsessed with her hair. Um, I just want to touch it. Um, And and she is a comedian. She is an award-winning screenwriter. Yes, thank you. I have to get that in. Mm -hmm. Um, And uh, the very fabulous Schnola Ludwigsdottir. Hello, Kimmy. How are you today? I am good. I'm good. Are you ready for our date? I am, yeah. I've been preparing like for a month. Excellent. That's um, not true. For an hour. I mean, I feel like I've been preparing this, for this for my whole life. Oh, wow. um, this has all been leading up to this. Yeah. Good. I mean, I, I've spent like a year and a half just like... Stalking me. Watching you. Because like, <laughs> we were running in like slightly different comedy yeah, circles. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Were, you were running mm-hmm. with the bigger boys, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, the cool kids. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, I just, I wanted to be a friend so much, but... But then... Uh, Did you just start this podcast so you can invite me on it? Basically, Good. yeah. So um, Yeah. So, <laughs> so I mean, I think, I think we know a little bit already. But uh, yeah. I just want to know, like, uh, why, why do you think I swiped right on you? What's on your, what's on why your did, profile? Why did you swipe right on yeah. me? Okay. So, usually, I don't put anything on my Tinder profile. Okay. Because uh, most of the things that, that people say there are just annoying. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, some boys have, like, some guys have. Uh, I am looking for a woman who uh, doesn't take herself too seriously, who has a job, who uh, has, like, nice toes and, like, makes all these, and then they look like they should live under a bridge. Um, so I try to not put anything, but for this podcast to work, yes. What I would put. Because this is a fantasy. This We're a going fantasy. on a date in our minds. Right, yeah. It's not real life. No. Okay. I want it so, to be real life so bad. What? <laughs> <laughs> Easy, Tiger. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is just... Uh, uh, this podcast just is purely fantasy. just... Uh, just yeah, fantasy. This podcast not, is purely yeah, just yeah. so that I can get a girlfriend. Um, <laughs> no, no, it's not. Um, <laughs> okay. No. Lies. Um, I would not say that I'm a stand-up comedian. Okay. Um... Because that puts people off. It just I could just put like a red clown nose and big clown shoes and be like, wah, wah, do you want to have sex with me? <laughs> um, so I do put screen. I would put screenwriter. Yeah. That's like ooh, interesting. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And then something like funny. I did have that. I was. Uh, I'm a recovering vegetarian. I had that once. Yeah. It's not maybe ha 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 funny, but it's like wah. yeah. It's so, amusing. Amusing. Yeah. So that's what I would put, and that's why you're here today. Okay. Yeah. Because mm. I'm all about the recovering vegetarians. Yes. <laughs> I'm a recovering vegetarian. Me too. Yeah. We how, have that in common. How many years? Uh, oh, since my whole life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and what's what's your um what would your like what's your picture? Do you go sort of like funny, or do you go for like a headshot kind of thing? Or? My pictures mm. are the first one is kind of. Um, like serious, kind of like maybe a little duck face, like yeah, sexy. Mm-hmm. And then I have two funny ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely, yeah. This is why I swipe yes. right on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're like, yeah. oh, she's, oh, she can be, you know. Yeah. Wow. She can be serious. Mm-hmm. Serious and then funny. But she's silly. Yeah. The second one's just you with a like a red clown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I hate when guys have the big fish on Tinder. Yeah. Like, look at the big fish that I caught seven years ago. Yeah. Um, which is just like I have a big yeah. dick. Um, are, do girls do anything annoying like this? Um, I mean, I think there's there's a lot of a lot of photos taken from like the MySpace angle. Um, um, 
like this. Yeah. Um, and so you kind of, the proportions of their face when you meet them are always not what you expect. Because oh, right. you've just been seeing them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like to, I like anybody I date, I, I, I like to be on a ladder when I meet them. So you so bring can, a bar stool. Yeah, so I can stand on and be like, oh, yes, like, uh, that's there you, there you are. Oh, there you are. Um, yeah. But... Yeah, I mean, I think especially, like, lesbians, there's a lot of women in caps. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. I, I've got a real aversion to people wearing a cap. I always, yeah. I'm always swipe like, left on people. Okay, um, really? Yeah. You, you know you're wearing a hat. I'm wearing a hat, but no, but not, like, not oh, one, like, like, like a, mm. a cap. I see, I see, I see. But, um, okay. but I'm, a friend of mine taught me a, a trick for his, um, what he always does, like, swipe. He will always swipe right on someone, because you know how you have the... Um, the little thing that tells you like common likes on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. He will always swipe right on somebody who likes Melabuthin on Facebook. Melabuthin. Yeah. Oh, me <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good one yeah. though. Because he said, good. you've got to mm -hmm. be. Yeah, you're a good, you're a good character. Yeah, if you, yeah. Like, if you no like it enough to like it on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then you you're of good character. I like this rule. So it's a good yeah. uh, it's pretty good. I'm gonna go like Melabudin and then yeah. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And do you have? I mean, I do you always are, are you a message first kind of a person or do you wait to be messaged? No, I message a lot. Okay. A lot of the times. Do you have any like opening gambits that you use? Um, I used to say, uh, how much weight can you? <laughs> Like bench, I don't know okay. how to say it in English. But yeah, the, that makes sense. Yeah, how, like how, how much, much can you bench? Yeah, or how much? How much can you yeah. press? I don't. I'm, I mean, I don't know like gym <laughs> terms. I mean, the, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Quatre back in, okay. in Icelandic. Okay. Um, just as a, as a joke, yeah. and and if uh, the response would be funny, one guy messaged me like I could rip a, a phone book in two. Okay. As a joke, you know. Yeah. Um, but then some people would uh, answer seriously. Yeah. Like, Actually, I do. And I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. you. And I would imagine that, because I, I do not date men, mm -hmm, um, no. but I would imagine that a lot of guys take that quite seriously. Yeah, some of them yeah. take it seriously. Um, but a lot of them also were like, haha, blah, blah, blah. And it's a nice conversation starter. Uh, but then I thought it was kind of too funny. I was trying, like, pickup lines are always yeah. pretentious in a way. They are. So now I'm just like, hi. Yeah. How are you? I am trying to be more vulnerable yeah. and real. Yeah, I yes. think that's. I usually um, send. I've got a little. I, I start with a, a gif. Gif. Mm -hmm. How have you? Oh, say that's it? a good one. Yeah, yeah. the and bear is something like. Yeah, hi. <laughs> that's good. But I, my favorite one, and this is. Oh, I hope that I feel like a lot of people that I might have started conversations with are going to could be listening to this yeah. and they'll all know then that I send the same thing to everybody. <laughs> everybody does. Everybody it. does, right? Yeah, yeah, because it's yeah. oh, it's it's kind of you just want to break the ice mm -hmm. and get it done. Yeah. I choose the one. It's uh it's a humpback whale breaching and it just says whale hello there. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is so nerdy. <laughs> exactly. Um Whale hello there. Whale hello there. That's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. But I, I mean, I don't, I don't really believe in chat up lines, but I think no. I've decided that every time I have a guest and we go on our fantasy mm -hmm. date, I am going to use the same line okay, okay, okay. on everybody okay. um, to see what their response is. Okay. So, and it is one that I have used before. Okay. So I'm just going to move a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. So which Hogwarts house are you in? I think I, I've got, there's two answers that I think you might give, and I'm, I think I know what you are. I have read one Harry Potter book. Yeah. The bad one is Slytherin. Yeah. So I'm going to be that. Yeah. I'm I Slytherin. Mean, <laughs> What's the it, good one? I mean... What's Harry's one? Harry's in Gryffindor, but I don't Gryffindor. think that makes it the good one. No. I think they're fairly insufferable, to mm -hmm. be honest, Gryffindors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're too nice and... Yeah, and they're brave and... Mm. But I was actually going to say... That and the twat that is in the Slytherin, the, the blonde guy. Yeah. I kind of looked like him. Lucius right? Ma uh, not Lucius. Uh, Draco Malfoy. Drake, yeah. yeah. I could be a sister. Yeah. So I'm definitely okay. going to be Slytherin. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to say that either I thought you were maybe a muggle. What does that mean? That means that you're... Oh, I don't have any powers. Yeah, that you're yeah, like yeah, maybe yeah. non-magical. Just okay. because you're so like, you'd just be like, what? Mm. What the fuck is this yeah, stuff? Yeah, why are you asking me this? 
Or I thought that maybe you went to the fancy French wizard school. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, it's yeah. called like Beau Baton. <laughs> Beau Baton. Beau Baton. C'est Beau Baton. Yeah, exactly. That's, okay, I, okay. I was kind yeah. of like, and they were, they were very attractive. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it yeah, seems yeah. to be, I, I mean, they never yeah, really yeah. go into it, but it seems to be a single sex wizard school just full mm -hmm. of very attractive French mm -hmm, mm -hmm, wizards. Mm -hmm. I like that much so, better. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and you did you did grow up in, in France. Paris, yeah. yes. yes. In Paris, yes. Yes. In Paris. In Paris. France. No. You never, Paris. And of course you never tell people I about this. I never mention it. No. I don't like talking about it. But no. I lived there until I was 11 and I speak fluent French. But otherwise, I, you know, I'm, it's not something I feel like I can brag about much. Yeah. You know? This feels like brand new information. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've yeah. never heard this before. No. No. Mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. So um so we've we've begun our flirtation. Yes. Um it's going well. It is. It's mm -hmm. it's going all right, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh what I wanted to ask you now is where are we going? What are we gonna do on our date? Okay. So I've been thinking about this. The normal um Icelandic way would be to go to the bar and get wasted. Mm -hmm. Go home, have kind of sloppy sex, yeah, and then never speak to each other again. But I wanna speak to you again. Yeah, yeah. We don't wanna do that. No. So I'm gonna I was thinking, this could be either great or a total flop, mm -hmm. but I would like to take a bus to Akranes. Ooh! That's like a 45 minute bus ride. Have m m not more than two beers there, or maybe just coffee and cake. Maybe it could be like at four or five. Yeah. You know. I mean, we can do multiple things. We yeah. can we can do an activity. We can go for dinner. We can go for mm -hmm. drinks. This is your mm -hmm. fantasy day. This is my yeah. fantasy day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're having dinner. Okay. Okay. Take the bus. Forty-five minute bus ride. That's the awkward part because then we're sitting like this. Yeah. Okay. And if you don't know the person, this could be kind of like, so you, you work at, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, if there isn't that original spark, yeah. then that's going to be a little bit awkward. Exactly. But yeah. you could also sit in the, like, in the row before. Yeah. And so we could, like, be up against the window and be talking, like, that's maybe more relaxed. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. yeah. There could be some kind of, like, I could be sitting back backwards on the seat. Like, yeah, yeah, some yeah. Some kind of, like, so, leaning. And, 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 yeah. So it, that could also be kind of, like, so, yeah. So, mm, mm, mm. That could be kind of sexy. Mm -hmm. um, then we go to Akranes. Uh, Akranes is a lovely town. Yeah. With loads of restaurants and, and stuff. So nice. we could like walk and small so we could like walk around, yeah. do -do -do -do, have a few drinks, dinner, flirt like crazy. Yeah. Have our first kiss like under some magical clock tower or something. Ooh, that sounds and nice. And then bus back. That sounds great. Yeah. That I I like the sound of this. Mm -hmm. Um what are we drinking? Uh I drink usually red wine okay. or rose. Okay. Because I grew up in <clears throat> Paris, I don't know if, if I mentioned it, but I, I, I'm like a wine person. Yeah. It's, yeah. Okay. What do you drink? Uh, I really like good beer. Mm -hmm. I've got really into sour ales. Oh, you okay. Yeah. yeah. This, I, I wasn't really into beer. I, I mean, I grew up on like cider. Oh, uh, yeah. Because that's mm -hmm. what you do when you're a teenager, you drink cider. What's the strawberry one? Frulis or something? Fr yeah, that, but that's not proper cider. No, that's that's cool. like... Mm -hmm. It's just bullshit, to be honest. It's for babies. Yeah, it is. It's for children. Yeah. Um, but I like. I used to drink cider, but now I really like beer. Mm -hmm. And I don't. I was talking to someone the other day, and I was like, oh, I just. So I've been trying to cut back a little bit on my drinking, and I was like, but I just don't think that I could give it up because I mm. really like beer. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. It's probably something an alcoholic would say, right? <laughs> I want to quit, but I like it I just, so much. I just really like a decent beer. Like, just, oh. But yeah, so, I'm, I mean, and it's Christmas beer season at the moment. Exactly. Which, Christmas beers are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best. Mm -hmm. And I actually think, although boring, it's very expensive, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I actually think Iceland does Christmas beer really well. Yeah, I, yeah. There's a lot of really good craft breweries now who mm -hmm. are doing mm -hmm. really nice beers. Absolutely, yeah. And they make, like, it becomes a thing. Like, beer has become Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not. But, yeah. No, I really like, my my favourite one is, uh, I'm going to probably say it wrong, Skirjammer. Skirgammer. Skirgammer. Which is yeah. the, it's a blueberry sour ale with skir. I think it's by Borg. With skir? Yeah. In the beer? Yeah, they brew it with skir. And it's really... Doesn't sound very well. No, it's very good. It good. It's really good. Mm. 
But yeah, so I mean, maybe we could go to a bar which has. But I'm, no, 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 yeah. this is your fantasy day. No, no, no. no we're no, going we to a wine bar. To, no, 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 we go. We go okay. to a place that okay. has both. Okay. And then maybe like some nibbles or some food or something. What, what are we eating? What are we eating? Because um, this is a date as well, so yeah. not spaghetti or not ma- spaghetti. Or, or ribs. Mm-hmm. Um, I once, <laughs> side note, got uh, when I was organizing a date with a guy. Uh, I was like, oh, there's a, this really nice burger place. Mm. Uh, it was just close to my home, so that's why. I think. Yeah. But anyway. And he was like, ooh, I like a girl who eats a burger on a first date. <laughs> and I was like, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, burger maybe? <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's go for burgers. Let's go for burgers. Yeah. Or pizza is nice, so you could share it. Oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. So, like, sh- yeah, sharing. But something like relaxed, something not too fancy. Yeah. And somewhere where you can have a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The music yeah. isn't too loud. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I hate that. It's awful. Yeah. Um, so you just did a little aside, but mm-hmm. I'd, I'm in the interest of getting to know you a bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, have, you, have you had many, like, dating disasters? Or have you got any funny stories of things that I try to it? chat for at least, like, a week or something. Okay. For a, yeah, just... So that I don't have that awkward date. So I try to get to know them and see if they're funny or if they have, you know, mm. if there's like something there. But I, yeah, I've had horrible dates. Uh, I've, have, ha- I've had dates where I was arguing about me too. God, that sounds uh, awful. That sounds awful. Um, That's not going to happen on this date. <laughs> no, we're, we're going to be on the same page. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it would be, it would be a bit awkward <laughs> if I was suddenly like, oh, me too. It's Whoa. just gone too far. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but n- nothing no nothing horrible yeah I don't know but like just dates where both of us are like we're never going to see each other yeah and then sometimes that's actually quite nice when mm-hmm. it gets to the end of the date and then you go oh yeah I'm this was obviously mm-hmm, mm-hmm. not yeah, the, yeah yeah there's nothing here yeah I have had, you had horrible oh ones? god I've had so many horrible ones really that's, yeah that's what like my do you not chat for a long time before. No, I'm usually quite, I'm quite quick to meet people. Mm, I'm okay. usually, if we're talking, I'm mm. like, let's just go out for a drink. Let's okay. just get this out of the way. I'm not going to invest any time. And oh, then, I see. Yeah, yeah. And then I uh, go and meet them and then it can be, I mean, I've, I've dated, a f- I mean, you don't get to seven years of being single uh-huh. without a lot of fairly horrible, horrible dates, dates yeah. under your belt. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I would actually go as far as to say as like, I'm a, professional de- I'm good I would say I'm good at dating bad at relationships That's, <laughs> Are you, you're a good dater I well I think I'm good at dating yeah I mean I've been on some funny dates like I, back in London you I was always able to be a bit more creative I went on a roller skating Ooh, first date with someone fun. yeah I went that's to a like roller a disco movies or something. yeah and it was kind of nice because it was like we were we were both sort of finding our feet and then it was like oh no I'm gonna fall over oh Oh, so there was lots of like opportunity and luckily I I, she seemed cool so there was a lot of opportunity to like hold her hand and like oh no I'm falling over (laughs) um and that was oh that that kind of felt like a movie date actually I remember it was on the south bank um we went to the roller disco and uh, then for some drinks and then I walked her back to Waterloo Station and I've, I've never, like, I'm not usually that confident on dates, mm-hmm. but I remember. So we were saying goodbye and I gave her a hug and then she started walking away and I pulled her hand and we were under the clock tower of Waterloo what? Station. I pulled her towards oh me God. and I kissed her and like, just, but just for like, and then I just walked away <laughs> and I was like, so Hollywood. I was, I was like, oh, Kimmy's you got proud of yourself. I was really proud of myself. Nice. And then we went out on, I think we went out one more date, and then she decided she just wanted to be friends. That's how all my stories usually end. Mm-hmm. Like, but, um, okay. but no, I mean, it wasn't After horrible. this date, she just wanted to be friends? What's yeah. wrong with her? I know, exactly. So Jesus. I think I'm, I'm I mean, I've, I've got all sorts, all yeah. sorts of dating yeah. stories. Yeah. I can yeah. talk to you all day about all the <clears throat> all the horrendous dates I've been on. But like Iceland, I don't know. I mean I've dated it's all the dates are always a bit more sort of just going Casual. out for a drink yeah. and yeah. Mm-hmm. um and obviously also here you have to be a bit in London it was like I knew I was never gonna see the person again. 
Yeah, but yeah. But also that was great for comedy because mm -hmm. I could go on a date and it could and be... And just make fun of it. Yeah, and make fun of it. Whereas here you have to be, yeah, as a yeah. comedian, you have yeah. to be a little bit mindful of the yeah. fact that not only that person could be in the audience, but, but their, their cousin, friends, their, cousin, their friends. Yeah. And you could be meeting them in bonus on the corner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So And things get back to people. Mm -hmm. So there's there's a sort of lack of anonymity in dating yeah. that... I mean, I've had a couple of people who have just said to me, like, don't ever use me for comedy. And I'm like, yeah. yeah. It's annoying, though, because yeah. I've got some great stories about I them. Know. So I would just break that rule. I would just yeah. like, sure, no. But then maybe change the story just a little yeah. bit. I've had, yeah, I've talked about horrible dates on stage. Yeah. If you just change I mean, little I, things. Yeah, I usually change mm -hmm. change a few things. But, but yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I, I would say that I'm quite good at being on good terms with people now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and my, I mean, my profile does say I'm a comedian, so... You do? Well, yeah. well let's so then people don't give a shit about that. No, they don't. Boys, I, yeah. there's this stereotype of like, mm -hmm. yeah, so am I right? Like, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah, there's a stereotype of being... And also, also biologically, we're just unfunny, so if... Uh, to, yeah. to men. Mm -hmm. So to if, men. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you yeah. put... I'm a comedian. They're mm -hmm. like, yeah. all right then, exactly. tell me a joke. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. whereas women, like, we know we're funny. So mm -hmm. when you're dating other women, they're just like, oh, that's yeah. hot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I should just put that I'm a stewardess or something. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's hot. Yeah. I'm a Slytherin <laughs> with great hair. <laughs> but, yeah, so... um. I, what else was I going to ask you? How does our dan date end? Yes, now this is important. How yeah. does it end? And this is, are we going to go on a second date? Is there enough yeah. of a spark? Um, are you just going to say, I just want to be friends? No, I would never say that to or, you. Um, or are we going home together for, slop what, did, what did you call it earlier? Sloppy, sloppy sex. Sloppy sex. That's, but we're just going to drink, like... Just normal, like, like considerably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Say, yeah, because yeah. also I'm, I get quite motion sick, so I don't want to be sick on the bus on the no, way back because that yeah. would be embarrassing. So two or three, yeah, we, you don't yeah. want to throw up on the no, first date. No, That's a big... That, then that. we would just be friends after that. You've done that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, when? <laughs> um, I went on a date with a girl and... Oh, God, this was a really, this was a really unrequited... <laughs> Like this, I spent like two years pining after this this person. <laughs> but we dated, and uh, and then we we went to a gypsy jazz bar, and I drank. I didn't eat, and I drank so much. Mm. And then we were walking through London, and then we started kissing, and then I fell backwards into a bush. <laughs> How? Uh, because I was paralytically drunk. <laughs> And then, I don't know if I vomited then, I don't really remember, but I remember I got back to my friend's house, mm. and I, like, burst through the door, and she was like, how did it go? And I was like, this date went great! <laughs> and then I just went, Bleh! and then continued oh. to be sick for the whole night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, so I fell I into a bush. Yeah. That's very funny as a lesbian comedian. I know, right. You went on a date and fell into a bush. Not the right bush. Not the right bush, <laughs> but the wrong bush. Yeah. And then, and then she was one of these ones that was like, oh, yeah, I just want to be friends, but, like, let's see how it goes. So then I was like, I'll be her best friend, and then she'll see how great mm -hmm. I am, and she'll mm -hmm. fall in love with me. Mm -hmm. She didn't. Didn't work. No. Yeah. yeah. So it it's... usually doesn't. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But... So you have... Okay. So you, we don't want you to... to I don't want to vomit. vomit. No. Okay. I'm a lightweight. So just two or three drinks. Yeah. Mm, I don't think we should go home together. I don't think so either. No. I want to get to know you better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Yeah. yeah. But definitely second date. Yeah. And then maybe something more casual. I think so. Yeah. I I feel like this is the start of, of a beautiful long long term. Yeah. We're gonna be adopting babies in, in, in a year. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think so. I think yeah. that would be great. Mm -hmm. And uh I I your I I appreciate you for your humour and your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all I am to you? Humour and hair. Humour and hair. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, uh, the date has now come to an end. Yes. Um, but I was just wondering if you have anything coming up uh, that people can see you? Um, or... mm, no, mainly I'm doing like corporate gigs now. Yeah. So it's like 
parties for, I don't know, Ari and Bonke, and I don't think that people are invited to, I mean, they yeah. can try and crash it yeah. if they really want to see me. I don't know how it will be received. Yeah. Um, but no, I have uh, nothing like, I mean, yeah. Go to the Secret Cellar, go to Soul Flow. Yeah, um, you're going to be hosting the Soul Flow Christmas I'm show just, sorry. on oh my God. the 16th I'm of terrible. December. Can um, we redo this question? Yeah, okay, let's. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. And so, where can people see you? Well, actually, <laughs> funny you should ask. Uh, I have, I'm hosting on the 16th of December, I'm hosting the Soul Flow um, comedy show at Gökuri. And it's going to be a lot of fun, and everybody should come. It definitely should. Um, but also, Soul Flow is at Gokuren every single Monday. Every Monday. Every yeah. Monday mm-hmm. night, mm-hmm. 9 o'clock at Gokuren, which is a great place. Um, also, you can check Snowlog out at Secret Cellar, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. where you perform quite regularly. Yeah, sometimes. Um, mm-hmm. Have you got any social media outlets where people can find out where you are? On Facebook. On the Snowlog Facebook. Snowlog Lurik Okay. Uh, I am on Instagram as well, but I'm... I'm terrible at Instagram. Okay. And I'm terrible at Twitter. Okay. Uh, so just, yeah. Maybe people Facebook. can just uh, like Melibu and then hope just that you like can Melibu match on yes. Tinder. Yeah, I am on Tinder as yes. well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, thank you for an amazing date, Kimmy. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I hope that I will see you again. Yeah, yeah, let's do it again. And I never saw her again. No. <laughs> Um, and if you would like to find out any more about uh, what's going on what I'm up to you can find me on at kimmytaylor.comedy on Instagram Uh, I'm also on Facebook uh, and I have just made an Instagram account for this podcast which is at loveeastland.podcast and that's on the Instagrams so Thank you very much, and I will see you again for another podcast soon, and another guest, and another fantasy date. Uh, So that's it for episode one of Love Eastland. Bye. Bye!